Hello, Facebook Live is Monday. So, since it's Monday, maybe it's going to be Monday for you. So, what's the plan for the week? Hi, my name is Eileen. I'm a mindset coach. I coach individuals based on universal principles. And today is Monday. At least for me, perhaps it's going to be Monday for you. So what's the plan for the week? You know, this is probably a very luxurious question if I was still holding on to a 9 to 5 job. Because I felt that when I was in a 9 to 5 job, I don't think I was ever that intentional as to what plans do I have for the week. Like I probably have plans for the weekend, but not for the week. And when you have the luxury of time, you know, when we have a 9 to 5 job, we wish we have the time flexibility to do whatever we want. And when our wish is granted, most of the time, we feel a bit lost because suddenly we have a lot of time, 9 to 5, that's um, 9 hours of, no, 8 hours, do my math, 8 hours of extra time, that's another 14 hours in a week so how do you plan your week do you even plan your week so I, I share I'll share how I plan my week um, I was just thinking usually I have a team for the week like what is a desired outcome I have for the week and I was thinking again how do I have this desired outcome where does it come about oh it's because I have a bigger goal I have a bigger goal as to what I want to achieve by end of this year so how does that bigger goal of what I want to achieve by the end of this year come about? It's because I even have a bigger goal of I want to have or desire to achieve in life. You see, so as I start to scale down, so I have the, the big goal and then I scale down to perhaps the yearly one. Because while my goal is so big, right, I have such a big goal, I may not know how to achieve it. Right. It could be achi achieving a certain financial stability or financial freedom, which is a huge goal. I may not know how to achieve it, but I could break it down to what I could see myself working towards in a year. So once I got that yearly target, that allows me to break it down to weeks and weeks as to what are the things I could start doing. And that made me very intentional with how I like to spend my week. And the week is not just all about what I want to achieve, uh, it's not just work related, but rather it could be as simple as, for instance, tomorrow I have a 4 a.m. call. Okay, it's a 4 a.m. call. So what does it mean? It means that I would probably have to go to bed, uh, preferably by 9 p.m. so I get sufficient sleep, I don't, I don't feel lethargic on the call. And if I have to work backwards, so if I go to bed by 9 p.m., it means uh, today, which is, I probably have about nine hours to do things I want to do, which is also why I'm coming on a little bit earlier on my Facebook Live, is because I've got things I want to work through and time might be a little bit hectic towards the end of the day, which I do not want to experience. So it allows me to work backwards and plan my day more intentionally. Okay, so if this kind of resonated with you and perhaps you have a different way of organizing your week, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment box below. And if you have made it to the end of this Facebook Live, <laughs> and if you're wondering why am I coming on live, it's because I'm doing a challenge. I'm coming on every day to do a Facebook Live to share a learning, to share a story. And because I want to make this a uh, digital journal for myself and I like to make this life meaningful especially if you're spending a couple of minutes with me so hence the sharing of a learning or a story or something that help us to reflect to make the day better and you know as I work through my day as like how I reverse engineer my day I also set intentions for the day so I have while I have the tasks I need to do, I also set intention whereby what are the outcomes I like to desire, how would I like to feel when I see 
all the tasks that's completed for the day. So that's how I set my day intentionally because days become weeks, weeks become months, months become years, okay? But it all goes on a reverse engineer methodology for me. So what is it for you? Feel free to share your thoughts on how you organize your week or even your day. I'm happy to see a different way of organizing your weeks, your, your week ahead. And if this live resonated with you, leave your thoughts in the comment box. If you know someone who would benefit from this live, feel free to tag a friend, feel free to share on your timeline. And I hope to see you back tomorrow on my Facebook live. Okay, so till then, take care. Bye-bye.